as well today we are going to discuss about uh, theory of architecture so basically what is theory of architecture theory of architecture is uh, first one it is mainly about thinking discussing and writing about architecture and also it is an explanation of different architectural work Our styles, architectural styles, our movements, design movements are there, etc. So this is basically the what is called architectural theory. Okay. Then concept of architectural theory. There are mainly five concepts. under architectural theory first one form second one space third one function fourth one context fifth one meaning form is nothing but we know it is nothing but external outlook of a building be it uh, proportion usage of materials so we mainly physical physical appearance of building physical appearance physical appearance is called form space space is internal space plan organization of space organization of space function function means we know it means means usefulness for occupants usefulness for occupants whether it is uh, fulfilling the their utility their function their usefulness next context means its surrounding uh, natural environment that means built and relation between natural and built environment built environment and surrounding building context whatever roads are there water bodies are there meaning meaning means cultural whatever the building we have designed it has any cultural significance or you have taken any inspiration from antiquity or modern buildings influence so th- these are the five concepts of architectural theory okay now i will discuss about uh, important figures in architectural theory first one vitruvius second one leoni Balista, Batista, Leone, Batista, Alberti. Third one is Andrea Palladio. Fourth 
ऑर्थोनिक बियालनो दे कार्बोजियर फिफ्थ वन एफएल राइट फ्रैंकलाइड राइट सो बेसिकली विट्रोवियस विट्रोवियस इज अ रोमन आर्किटेक्ट मिलिट्री इंजीनियर आल्सो इन द फर्स्ट सेंचुरी बीसी he has written a uh, main one book called d architecture d architecture and we will see about this in a detail manner coming to leone battista alberti he is uh, there during the time of renaissance that means uh, in 15th century mm, what is he also wrote many treatises on architectural theory important one is uh, d re edificatoria this in a, what they what he did is uh, he has uh, collected the d architecture and again uh, reimagined it for the benefit of the public d d that's why d re edificatoria and trepelladio he actually he is also a italian renaissance architect what he did is uh, he mainly in, he is one of the popular figures in classical revival architecture that means uh, all the usage again uh, he has brought the usage of columns whatever the roman and greek uh, architecture is there again he started in incorporating in his designs the elements of roman and greek architecture classical architecture whatever it is there he started incorporating in his uh, buildings so andrea pelladio he is also one of the important uh, architectural theorists and mainly responsible for the classical revival movement but sir we all know he also wrote uh, many books on architectural theory like towards new architecture and uh, he is um, basically a modernist fl right he has also devised many architectural theories and um, mainly he is related to organic organic design in architecture organic movement in architecture. so let's discuss about uh, vitruvius in the city there now vitruvius vitruvius actually he belong to first century bc or wrong roman architect Roman architect and engineer, military engineer. Actually, his main contribution to architecture is the book De Architectura. In this book, this is the one of the. first books to be available from the classical antiquity that means uh, uh, in architecture that means from the bc before christ uh, first century bc means from that these many years uh, thousands of years 2000 years it, it has survived and that's st- still now also it is uh, inspiring architects okay it's uh, from antiquity one of the treatises one of the treatises available from antiquity so mainly in this one actually the de architectura one more name for de architectura is 10 books on architecture so the by if you get a question like uh, who has written the 10 books on architecture it is vitruvius 10 books on architecture so in this one mainly he has written about uh, the different concepts called first one qualification of architect what it should be like qualification of an architect 
building materials temple construction public buildings private buildings hydraulics astronomy mechanical engineering and military engines okay so in the sand books he explained about uh, these different topics and uh, in his devised uh, he devised a concept called vitruvian triad that means uh, this is vitruvian triad is called triad means three three principles and architecture so first one is formitas second one is utilitas third one is venastas so formitas what is the meaning of formitas formitas means firmness that means structural strength firmness also called structural strength that means whatever the civil aspects are there building structure structural strength should be there that only the building will be firm building will be stiff and survive utilitas utilitas means usefulness usefulness this is the space whatever architects had designed it should be useful for the people usefulness usefulness for the occupants and venastas venastas means uh, what all architects do beauty beauty aspects are covered in the venastas decoration aspects decorate so mainly this is the main important concept what to which we as we devised a concept called vitruvius triad and this one th- that is nothing but three principles on architecture formitas utilitas venastas formitas means firmness utilitas means usefulness venastas means aesthetic beauty okay and also what it is he studied he has given an account of all the roman classical orders roman and greek roman and greek uh, classical orders nothing but we all know columns are there that is uh, doric ionic uh, corinthian we have explained about this columns also and uh, we know renaissance is during 15th century so in 15th century actually it got all the vitruvius concepts got again revived many architects started studying his concepts his book de architectura so uh, what leoni earlier we discussed leoni batista albert what it is uh, she again he has studied I have re- rewritten the D architecture with the name D Re Edificator. 
so this is one of the main important strategies devised by Leona Battista Alberti during 15th century. And also see till now also architects are taking the inspiration from the architecture book. So this is one of the important books uh, available till date. You, it is available on Google. You can also read it. So Vitruvius uh, has given a great contribution to the architectural consequence in the community. And also we all know Leonardo da Vinci. He, what uh, Vitruvius says is, you should design the buildings based on the human proportions. So, based on his theory, based on his theory, Leonardo da Vinci, what he has uh, prepared a sketch. This has become a very famous with a central circle and with the human body. Suppose human body stretches uh, all the all the legs, all the hands, human body stretches. So it forms a it forms circle. So this is uh, that means basically now also we will be studying the ergonomics and all those. That means a building should be designed as per the proportions of a human body. So as per the explanation given by Vitruvius in his De Architectura, Leonardo da Vinci prepared a diagram, prepared a sketch called Vitruvian Man. Vitruvian Man. This is you can search in Google. This is very famous. Suppose if a question comes, Vitruvian Man was given was sketched by Leonardo da Vinci. Leonardo da Vinci. Okay, he is. A, we all know he is an Italian, uh, Italian artist, Italian polymath. Also, who has done the portrait of Mona Lisa, da Vinci. Okay, Vitruvian man. Okay, this is for today about architectural theory. Thank you.